Yes. Good morning. Start of day five at Baranga Camp, uh, 13,000 feet. Today we're gonna head up to Kosovo Camp. It's a special camp, you need a special permit to get to. It's a little bit higher than the rest. It's about 2.8 miles from here. Straight up that guy. Um, once we get there, it'll be 16,000 feet and it'll be a challenge of a different type. The pace today is gonna to be slow and steady, um, almost straight up. Not much uh, bouldering or uneven surfaces as uh, some of the other trails have been. But uh, 16,000 feet is gonna be the highest that a lot of us have ever been at. And uh, we're gonna sleep there tonight for a couple hours. Uh, we should be in to leave here around eight. We're gonna have breakfast, it's about 6.55 now. So breakfast at seven. Uh, breakfast from seven to eight. Then hit the, hit the trail at eight o'clock and we should be there uh, probably around uh, 12, 12, well, yeah, 12, 12, 30. Um, and then we'll rest for the rest of the day. Um, and tonight will be the night. So tonight we wake up around 11.30 and we take our stab at the summit. Uh, everybody's nervous, but super excited. Hour into our hike on day five. We're getting closer and closer to our mountain here. Camp is already way off in the distance down there. Gained significant elevation, but it's just been slow and steady, poly poly. So far so good. The Diamox is making everybody I have to go to the bathroom about every 30 minutes on the clock unless you're clear stabilizer and then it's every 15 minutes. Um, but it's good for us and we're all super hydrated. So <sighs> it's a good deal. Air gets thinner by the minute. Everybody's doing good. All right, I think we're on our third or fourth stop. We should be, what, around 15? 15? <coughs> yeah. About 15,000, about where we were for Lava Tower. So this is about the highest uh, most of us have been, except for Chris, who loves to tell us he was at base camp of Everest. Which he really wasn't. It's was all a lie. I went higher than base camp. He went higher than base camp at Everest. Thousand feet higher, so you know he's just—he's basically closer to God than we are. But every step from here on out is going to be a new personal best for all of us. Uh, we're excited for the challenge, and we should be at camp here in the next hour. The first camp that a lot of people are staying at are just just over that ridge. We got about another hour to go uh, from there up to Kosovo Camp, uh, the special permit camp. Uh, we're looking forward to it. First stretcher that we've seen. Bad omen or just in case? You decide. We're here at Baroff Camp, is that what this is called? Baroff. Gotta sign in just like we have been doing and then we're gonna continue on up to Kosovo at the top of that ridge. About another hour away. Congratulations!
16,000 feet. So we made it to Kosovo camp, 16,000 feet. About to have some lunch, having some tea right now. I've started to get a little headache. Certainly the highest I've ever been. Um, but I'm hoping just need a little bit of food and we'll rebound right back. Um, it is about 1.30 right now. Uh, we got until after lunch, we'll, we'll go back and lay down, take a nap, rest up, have dinner tonight, and then uh, rest up until about 11. Wake up and make our, uh, our summit push uh, from about midnight on. Uh, we'll come back to this camp and then uh, head on down the mountain. It's dinner at 5 30, that's okay for you? About 30. About 30. Yeah. Yeah. 5 30, maybe finish your dinner at 6 30, and then you go to the again. <laughs> Our plan is to reach in the half at 12 o'clock. No, 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock yeah. wake up and then come here at 11.30 and then we're going to start our hike at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Pole, pole. Pole, pole. Pole, pole. Pole, pole. From here we got, we have done already one hour. You know? awesome. So if we stay here for seven hours, it's going to be six hours. Five hours to sell a point and then one hour to curl. So hopefully we get there at six. We register still? No. No, no. no more registration until we get it back. Support so yeah. sitting up at Stella Point by himself <laughs> every day. <laughs> no books, no books. You take pictures, that's enough. That's big evidence. Okay. That's yes. the evidence you need. Yeah. You got a pictures. Yes. You guys have been doing, doing very, very good since we started this hike. Thank you. So we hope it's going to be good. It's kind of challenging, it's freezing, it's cold, it's altitude, but don't give up. Yeah. Maybe if you're very sick and you can't do it, it's too risky. Not the thing can stop your hike, but this challenge can come down. Like headache, nausea, sometimes throwing up, that's quite normal for your hike. Once we get at the peak and start coming down and down and down, the better you feel as we go down. It's approximately 14 hours hike. 13 to 14. Wow. <laughs> as we said, three, six hours from here to the peak. Then about three hours coming down here. <laughs> then that's four hours. About, about 14 hours. Okay. And after you've done the whole hike and you have been there, you achieve your goal, you're proud of yourself. Yeah. About 14 hours is nothing. This is camp. We push towards the summit in a few hours. couple thousand feet in the air. <laughs>